Martha McCallum, uh, yeah. from additional for additional thoughts now. Same thing. Uh, hearing these reports that there's tear gas being used in the rotunda, as Brett has just reported, uh, the members are being told to get those gas masks that are under their seats. The other big question is, where is the vice president? We're told that he was rushed out of the chamber. And this answers the question that I raised before. You know, I, I, I was under the assumption that they would be safe in the chamber. That was before we realized that people had actually breached the building and were walking through the rotunda. Obviously, this is a huge victory for these protesters. They have disrupted the system in an enormous way. And I just want to, you know, bring everyone's, remind everyone of what happened earlier this week, right? Uh, people going to Josh Hawley's house. We've seen spray paint on Mitch McConnell's door, on Nancy Pelosi's door as well. Um, and we've all been sort of tracking okay. the escalation of this. Now, look at what you've got now. You have protesters inside the Capitol building uh, in, an, in an, quite an incredible uh act that I, I think you could, you know, revolt is not is a word that, you know, can, can be used here in some ways. I just want to jump in here. On the stairs. Yeah, right. Go ahead. Uh, yes, because Congressman Michael Waltz of Florida, he is inside on the House floor. He's on the phone with us now. Congressman? Congressman Waltz, could you give us an update? Yeah. Hi, Dana. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah, we are on the House floor. We've been uh, informed that uh, protesters have penetrated uh, the Capitol. Tear gas has been deployed. Uh, members are now have masks that are in the Capitol and deploying those masks, and we're now being evacuated. And you are being eva are you being evacuated as well? Yes, the entire House floor is being evacuated. And I just want to say, Dana, this is despicable. This is not who we are as a country. Uh, we were debating this through uh, debate and discussion uh, from our interpretations of the Constitution. Uh, members were objecting to. Excuse me, sorry, we're 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 moving kind of quickly here. But members were objecting to people's concerns. But there is no place for violence. I've served in places overseas in Africa, and Afghanistan, and other where where violence. It's how we solve our disputes, not here in America. We solve it through debate and discussion and courts and judges. And I just want to make sure everyone hears that today. This is unacceptable and uh, a sad day for the country. Congressman, how will they get you out of the building? Where will you go? You know, I'm not sure at this point. Uh, we're following the instructions from the Capitol Police, who are doing a fantastic job, um, you know, commendable to what they're doing. But we are moving downstairs into the basement. All right, Congressman, we'll let you do that. Thank you for calling in. We appreciate it. President Trump just tweeting this. Please support our Capitol Police and law enforcement. They are truly on the side of our country. Stay peaceful.